be. We believe in our religion that this world was created by God and that the world is sustained by God. And for that reason, that we don't have any idea in our religion that the world will come to an end because God sustains it. And we believe that God is essentially a spirit, not a human being, you know. And that's why there are no temples or shrines or physical representations, because God is a spirit. We have a proverb, if you want to speak to God, speak to the winds. And like the winds, God is everywhere. God is invisible. And um, our religion also has to do with uh, our sense of morality, you see, because Religion teaches us how to, to live, how to live with each other, how to, to, to live with our environment. The religion relates to the environment. You find that here in Ghana or in Africa, trees and rivers and lakes and the sea and all these things come into our religiosity because for us, God does not need a temple. The whole universe is the temple of God. You see, we have a piece on the drum which we play, the drum language. And the piece says, the path crosses the river, and the river crosses the path, which is the elder. In other words, which came before which? And the drummer answers, we made the path to meet the river. The river is from long ago. By merely looking at nature, our ancestors were driven to the source, to the architect of nature. The path is like the temple or the cathedral. We built it, we know, but we didn't make the river. So all the things we made, we know. And the things we did not make tell us about who made the river. 